let's go ahead and jump over into PowerPoint and we'll kind of talk about having some fun with some shapes in PowerPoint. And I have a couple of quick little topics and tricks here. The first one that I'll talk about is something I call text art. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of walk through this and you'll kind of see what we might be able to do. I'm going to start off with one here. Let's just go ahead and insert a text box. And I'm just going to type in the word water, right? So let's take this and let's make it bigger. Make it nice and big. And what I want is a really kind of chunky font. So I'm just going to pick something like this and I'm going to make it big, 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 big font. Even one more. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So here I have a piece of text and I went to Unsplash and I found this water image. I just did a search for water. Unsplash dot com, if you don't know, is a great place to get public domain photography. So this is free. You can do whatever the heck you want to with it. Right? So I just grabbed it off of Unsplash and I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it on here and I'm going to kind of cover the text. Right? I'm going to right click and send it to the back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of position this so that I want the waves and ripples and stuff to be kind of over the text. You'll see why in a second. Right? So I have a text box here. I have a picture behind it. So first I'm going to click on the picture You'll notice it's selected here and then I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on the text box. What that does is it selects both the image and the text. Okay, everybody with me? Then I'm going to go to the format under drawing tools and we're going to work with uh, merging shapes and this is kind of the fun with shapes part. <laughs> Merge shapes is a thing that not a lot of folks know about in PowerPoint, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So in this particular case, what we're going to do is choose the intersect. And if we hover over it, you'll get a preview of what that does. And I'm going to go ahead and unselect it for a second, but there are a couple of different things that we can do. I'll show you a couple of them, but intersect basically means take whatever intersects these two objects that I have selected and that's all I want to see. So the text area, right, and the image that is within the text area is the intersection of these two items that I have selected. So when I click intersect, boom, you get this really kind of interesting piece of text. <laughs> and I call it text art, right? What do you guys think of that? It's kind of fun. And you can do some pretty interesting and creative things working with that. Not a lot of folks know about that. So one of the things that we can also do then, I can use this in my PowerPoint presentation if I want. We can resize it and do all the things you might expect. But you can also, at that point, right click on it and save as picture. Okay? And if you save it as a PNG image, then it's also going to have transparency, meaning that there will be no white background to it. So that's just kind of something to be aware of. Let's try this a second. So I'm going to save this in my pictures as water.png. Right? So let's go over to Camtasia and I'll import some media and we'll go find water. And if we just drop it on the timeline, you see that it has transparency. And create these in PowerPoint 
use them certainly in our PowerPoint presentation uh, that we record as video or we can also do some other things, export it out as a picture and use it as an asset. Be aware that you can't use all of the picture formatting stuff because it gets kind of squirrely. So there, there's not a lot you can do once you have done the, the merge here. I could, after I've saved it as a picture, pull it back in here and you know do things like add a drop shadow, but I won't belabor that too much. Mm -hmm.